Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look what just came. This is a package from Muse Beauty Pro. And I'm so freaking excited. I'm so excited. So they emailed me. Did I not like open this? I thought I already ripped open the, the seal. Oh, they emailed me a few days ago saying that this is coming in the mail. Oh, I am freaking out right now. I'm like so freaking excited. Whew. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So there's more in here than I even knew. Okay, okay. Breathe. I'm so freaking excited. I'm just gonna tear this open because I just can't wait. I cannot wait. So much bubble wrap. <sighs> you guys don't understand how excited I get over new Busy Art products. So beautiful and heavy and okay so this is the brand new Viseart Koi eyeshadow palette <sighs> breathe oh this palette is something to be excited about unique different fresh new I am Tired of seeing the same old things. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh no. This is. <laughs> okay, you guys know I'm gonna be filming lots of looks with this for you guys, but you don't understand. The camera isn't picking up on this, but they are. There are duochromes in here, which I did not know. I, d I didn't know there were there would be duochromes, but like I can see it reflecting in the light. <sighs> okay, this is really pretty. I'm gonna read you guys what they said. So, introducing Vizier at Slim Pro Eyeshadow Palette 12, Koi. Make a statement, the latest Viseart Pro palette of 12 shimmering shades was inspired by brightly colored prismatic hues seen through water. Designed in the luxurious crystalline satin shadow formula and encased in the iconic Slim Pro Magnetic Compact, Koi features a glistening watercolor finish that builds from sheer to full coverage. This palette is ideal for creating everything from demure looks to artistic effects. This palette of shimmering hues includes luminous corals, gold, purples, and lilacs to phosphorescent blues, greens, lavenders, and silver. Oh! Ordering on Muse Beauty Pro starts January 1st and ships January 2nd. This is a Muse Beauty Pro exclusive launch. Some frequently asked questions are answered here. These are all new shades. 12 brand new shades in a magnetic case. They are the Viseart's crystalline satin formula, similar to the first column of the Grand Pro 2. No glitter. You can use the Issa mixing medium with it. And they suggest using goat hair brushes like the Isam G29 for a sheer application and sable hair brushes like the W23 for medium to full application. You can use a primer with it, ideally the Viseart Seamless Shadow Primer. You can pair this with any other Viseart palette. So we also have a new style of lashes in the box. This one is shade not shade, what am I talking about? Number 28. Those are beautiful. I love that they flare out at the edges. Oh, there's more. What the heck? Okay, so this one here is my tie. <laughs> I love it. So this is the Cat Cosmetics Fix Cream Makeup in my tie. I love the cat formula. And then we've got the Danessa Myricks 24 Hour Matte Color in exposed. Ooh, that sounds like the nude shade if I remember correctly. Ooh, that is a beautiful beige nude. I'm totally gonna rock this for sure. And I got a cute note. Ah, 
Yay! Okay, so I'm going to take some photos and then we'll get a swatch in. These two come off quite a bit more pigmented, like they have more of a base color to them. And that's these two in the palette. I love these complementary colors next to each other, but this blue green is so pretty. It's sheer, but it definitely reminds me of like a sparkly watercolor. The painter in me is just like gaga over it, but that's these two colors. Okay, so I think that this one deserves a mention all on its own. It's so unique. It looks boring in the pan, but in person, it's the prettiest version of a silver ever. Pink tone to it, and then it has this frost. It just reminds me of Christmas. I don't know what about it makes me so happy. I hope it's picking up on camera, but you have to see in person, girl. Like This is a really, really cool shade. Okay, so I'm swatching the purple ones next to each other just because it made sense to me as I was going in there, even though now I'm not going in any kind of order. But <laughs> that's these two diagonal from each other. So these, I would say, are like my bombshell colors. You know, like the beachy, beachy girl's dream. You get the rose gold and the fabulous champagne. So, this guy and this guy. I use a little water and dampened a brush, a, a flat ASIM brush, and you can see the shine. Okay, so I saved these two for last. I find them to be the easiest to get full pigmentation in one quick swatch like they are just that was just lightly pressing into the pans you know what I mean and they are just divine and that is those two greens okay so I wiped off my eye makeup for the most part obviously I left some of the liner and the mascara but we're going to throw on lashes with the new look so i figured whatever i'll just leave that bare bones there so i wiped off all of that other stuff and my under eye concealer so we're going to start from this point i'm going to take more eyeshadow primer i'm using the wet n wild primer and since i still have residual makeup on I'm going to be careful and use a brush. This is the Isom T37 brush and I'm going to apply the primer with the brush just so I can get up close to the lash line and not be touching the weird old mascara that's been partially removed and whatever. So I'm just going to tap this all over. I also let my hair down. I can't do ponytails. They just don't look like me or feel like me or... <sighs> I don't know. I wore it for about four or five hours and I just can't. I couldn't any longer. I was trying to save you guys from my... with this whole curly girl method where my hair has been fluctuating. And some days are great, and I can see the improvements in my hair. And some days I'm just like, what am I doing? Why is my hair like this? Okay, there's so much dimension to each one of these colors. I feel like on camera it's like, oh, purple, oh, orange. No, you look at it in person and it's like so much depth. I'm going to start off with my Isom W35 brush. I'm going to go into So as you build up the dual chrome flip builds up too. I'm going to then take my flat Isom W21 brush and my Isom Pro mixing medium. I take one little drop of this 
Remember guys, you don't need much at all. Pat this on. And suddenly we have actual Christmas on our eyes. Frosty white glistening snow of color. So I'm putting this on the center of the lid and just blending softly on the edges. <clears throat> I'm going to take some of this guy. This is sheerer than the other shades. And I'm just lightly putting this on the center. I'm taking the W35 brush and lightly sweeping that underneath the brow bone to give a violet flash of color. Now I'm going to take the turquoise, this one here. I don't usually go for colors like this, but this one has so much depth to it. It's so pretty. I'm going to lightly swipe onto the inner third of the eye so that when that area catches the light, I'll just have this gorgeous aquamarine flash of color. The crystals in these shades are so shiny. They're basically shiny like a highlighter. They're really, really pretty. I'm taking more of the silver and I'm just going to blend those edges. Okay, I just feel like I'm living my best mermaid life right now. Like, nobody can tell me any differently. <laughs> I'm going to use my flat brush again and go into this shade. You know I had to. Anytime I have a chartreuse in front of me, you know I'm going to lather my body in it. I'm just going to lightly pat this onto the center of my lid. This shade in particular is really pigmented, so it's a little bit less of a wash of color initially, but I'm trying to like sheer it out so it blends in with the shade below it. But you can get full pigmentation so easily with this particular shade. That's true of this shade, this shade, this one, this one. Those ones especially I found were super easy to get full pigmentation. Okay, what shade do we want to put on this outer third? I'm going to go for a smaller brush. This one here is the Isam S33. I'm going to go into this green. been so into colors like this lately. Oh yes. I am not regretting my choice at all. People will tell you you have to have a base of matte shadows before you go into shimmer. And I am here to tell you that is bull. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. And what I want right now is shimmer everywhere. I'm building up the pigmentation by slowly adding more and more product. I'm going back into the blue with this brush, the S33, and just putting a dash more pigment on, intensifying it all. With the same brush, I'm going to go into the silver and bring that back as well. Love this shade. I have the sneaking suspicion it's not catching on camera though. Oh, come on, stupid camera. I'm dipping back into the chartreuse, but I'm also going to have a dash of this gold mixed in with it and just intensify this a little bit right here. I'm taking a completely fresh brush. 
super clean. This is the wing glass number 17. And we are diving into this gem. With this, I'm going to have a whisper of color. Just like how I like to do with blush. I like to sweep it in and just bring some warmth. 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 Between the crease color and the brow bone highlight shade. So we are bringing Coral Dreams right in here. Okay, and then with a dash of this deeper coral, I intensify, keeping it a little bit more precise. How are we doing? In the spirit of true underwater magic and <laughs> using as many of these shades as we can today, I'm going to do a fabulously purple under eye with maybe some of this red over here. So starting off with this lightest purple tone and my A Cosmetics number 124 brush. I'm going to put this in the inner third of the lower lash line, connecting it to the inner corner highlight. I'm going to take a dash of Mac Fix Plus, dip right back in and intensify just the area that's closest to the lashes. The darker purple, this one has a beautiful raspberry flash to it. I'm going to overlap the lighter purple and drag outwards towards the outer edge. Focusing the shade in the center of the lower lash line. And then the red. So with this one, the outer third, overlapping once again. And meeting the very edge of the green and flicking up. And as a final touch, I'm going to take my Wayne Glass number 17 and dip into this beauty and lightly sweep over the edges. I'm going to go ahead and clean up all the fallout. Actually, there really isn't much at all. I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs Sunset Liner and Throw this in on the waterline. My lashes are beyond being able to fix them because the mascara is so old. They're on these swalsies. Hopefully these will fix how my lashes look. It's the Lashes in the Box, Lashes in a Box, number 28. So it has a nice flare to it. This pair is so soft and romantic. I love it. This style would be perfect for bridal. I'm going to take a bit of my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and touch up underneath the eyes where I removed makeup. And I think the rest of my foundation is still looking okay. I'm gonna touch up the brows a little bit with my pencil. And I'm gonna take that Wayne Glass number 17 again and just sweep over the area where the concealer meets the eyeshadow. I'm taking a dash of setting powder and just setting that under eye where the concealer was. I'm 
Okay, and you know I'm gonna use this for highlighter and blush, right? So with a highlighter brush, I'm gonna go into, let's see. Oh yeah, definitely this guy. What a gorgeous highlighting shade. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. <sighs> okay, new favorite highlighter ever. Um, yes, I'm just gonna keep going because I don't know when to stop, apparently. This would have been my everyday highlighter when I had blue hair. Mermaid dreams. Come on. Okay, so spritz of Mac Fix Plus before we do our lips. I feel like the side has a little more, so let me just even you guys out. Can't get over this. Um, we're on a roll, so let's just grab a bit of this coral shade and try that on the cheeks too. That is so pretty. Yes, yes to all of it, please. All right, so for lips, we're definitely using my new Danessa Myricks because I'm going to try this. This is the color fix in Exposed. Ooh, that is pigmented. That is such a cute color. What do you think? I can't not put any of this on my lips, right? Like I gotta put something from here. Just a little bit, just a little bit. We're gonna go back into that highlighter shade. At this point, this duochrome is something of a neutral on my face because <laughs> it's everywhere. Okay, I think that completed the look. And this is certainly a look. Oh yes, okay, so I am extremely happy right now. I think that this palette is full of surprises. I cannot look away from how this sits on the skin. It's just an amazing wash of glowy color. I am very excited. This palette is giving me all the feels. This palette is giving me 
all the feels. I feel like a mermaid princess and am loving it. I think that it's full of surprises. You get all these different shades that give off different colors and, and they have the most ethereal washes that can really be built up to be bold, bright, in your face color if you'd like. You can manipulate it in so many different ways. I think it's just the perfect pairing palette with any of their matte. You can sign up to get an email notification for when this palette is available to purchase. And I'll leave that link in the description box down below. And don't forget, I am an affiliate with Muse. I did receive these products complimentary. And if you do use my link for any purchases, then I will get a small commission and that money will be put right back into my channel. I thank you in advance if you do use my link and no worries, there's no pressure at all. You don't have to use it. You can go directly to the Muse Beauty site and what? <laughs> you can go directly to the Muse Beauty site. You can you can go direct you can go directly to the Muse Beauty site on your own if you'd like. Ooh, I haven't been this in love since their last Vizier palette. <laughs> yes, I'm obsessed with the brand, but I think it's for a good reason. Their stuff is just to die for, really unbeatable. So I would give this two thumbs up and more if I had any more thumbs and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Rest assured I will be doing many many more looks with this palette from here on out. Alright, love you lots and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.